What's up guys? Today we're watching season 4 episode 5 of Breaking Bad. So last episode was kind of scary at the end, you know. So at first we had Walter find out from Hank that he's looking into the case of Gail. And after Walt found out about that, He's been trying to find Jesse and you know Jesse's been all over the place with what he's been going through and with that happening Mike got involved so at the end of the episode Mike took Jesse for a ride and we don't know what that means whenever it comes to Mike I feel like he's about to kill someone and I'm gonna feel really bad if he tries to kill Jesse but might not happen maybe it will you never know i want to find out so let's just get into the episode every dollar if you don't hear from me in 24 hours no no sh saul saul shut up shut up and listen to me this point of view was definitely really different like the point of view of the car just make it happen He's really freaked out about Jesse right now. I just wanted to say that I was thinking about you and the kids. I love you. Does he not think he's going to come back from whatever he's doing? Um. Got his protection. Man, really been drifting. I'm surprised there wasn't a cop that, like, was gonna stop him or something. Hello, would you like to try our breakfast chicken chalupa combo meal? Gus Fring. Excuse me? Gustavo Fring, your boss now. Is Gus actually gonna come out? Okay, yeah, he's not there. Okay, so he knows. It took you that long to go in the back? Like, damn. So he possibly knows you're there already. What was that about? Or like obviously about Walter, but like what? Don't tell me they're there for Walter. Maybe they're just regular guys. Hello. Walter, what exactly are you doing? Where's Jesse? Jesse with- He's just worried about Jesse. Just- Yo. Jesse. Yeah, what's up? Jesse, wh wh where are you? With Mike. Obviously, Jesse. <laughs> uh, we're driving. Driving? Driving where? I don't know. Um, north? He don't seem to care either. He don't seem in danger, but then he also kind of does since he's with Mike. Me today. So what you need to do is to go back to your lab and get on with the cook. You're going to have to muddle through this one without him, okay? That's what's going on. But they're taking his partner. Sir. Excuse me. Hey. He said, I'm just going to go for myself. As I said, sir, Mr. Fring is not here. This area is for employees only, and I have to ask that you leave immediately. So she was right. Okay, where 
Where's Gus at? Is Mike taking Jesse to Gus? No, I don't think so. Are you, uh, you figure on just leaving me in some ditch? So now you want to be scared of being with Mike? Like, what else do you think was going to happen? You think he wanted to be your friend? So he ain't gonna whack you with the shovel. But what is the shovel for? What are we digging here? His own grave, maybe? I don't know. Or grave for someone else. You never know. Oh, so there's something already here that's just for Mike. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I just find it really weird how, like, they're not exchanging words. Like, he just did that silently. Not gonna explain himself or anything. Ooh, money. Obviously his money, but... Coming? We gotta do this six more times today with a lot of miles in between. I'd like to finish before dark. So, you're going to different parts just to pick up money? What's the money for? Doing their job, I guess. I don't know. By the name of Jimmy in and out <laughs> This one. He's your Heisenberg. Yeah, I believe he is. So what are you thinking? Rival drug gang? Take. He didn't even believe that the other dude was Heisenberg. So for him to think that Gail is... But I guess he has, like, way more evidence. And the dude's also been working with Walt, you know, so... It's a guy the neighbor saw at... Bedeker's place right after the shooting. Yeah. Oh, that's the dude that died. Right? I think it is. Hank, you really are a big help here. No, I know. I, I, I get it. I really, but I'm done. You mean like done in general? Like you're not going to try and go back to being a DEA agent after you're healed and shit? Or just done with the case? <laughs> they really got some good hiding places. Well, I feel like that one is better than the other one, but yeah. You don't need to do that. This is why I'm out here, right? To be like your backup. You standing there makes it more suspicious. Out here in a guard type capacity to watch over the money. That means I need like a gun, right? Nope. Seventy. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's respecting it, like respecting him and smoking whenever they stop and not in the car. I'll maintain separation between dealer and supplier, reduce risk, etc. Is he gonna try and convince him that he's not too much of a risk? But then I don't think he also, he doesn't really know that they think he's a risk or something. What? You are not the guy. You're not capable of being the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. You are not the guy. He talked his head off and now he's mad. <laughs> they always
always given, like the good angles, bro. Walt's tuned out. <laughs> Are they like signing for the car wash? Or is this divorce? Like, I was about to say like divorce papers, but maybe it's like they're not gonna get one anymore. This is a big step, Walt. If we don't do this right, I we'll be fine. We will? You gotta believe in yourself, bro. You already put so much into it. And we have to promise each other. No more secrets. There can't be any mistakes like before. Is he gonna actually go through with that? Uh, it's me. I, I just wanted to say that I was thinking about you and the kids. That is kind of, uh, that's awkward to <laughs> she's right there listening to you. Mm. Maybe she thinks that's sweet. <laughs> okay, so she thought it was sweet. Mm, like it. I, uh... Also got a new haircut. Don't know if you. I noticed it. I just, I just didn't want to say something in case I was wrong. Marie says it's about the only thing that'll get Hank out of his room. Mom. Oh shit. That's gonna be awkward to. <laughs> she had to shut the door. Where are you? Uh, we're, we're back here. We'll be out in a minute. Oh, God. <laughs> so you probably figured. Maybe, um, maybe you should move back in. It's so weird seeing them together now. Damn, what's going on with you today? You messing shit up a little bit. This is a two-man job! I can't do it alone! I'm done! That's it! Finished! Period. They took away your partner. The forklift, not me. That's just one of the many, many things he does around the lab that keeps us on schedule. So I suggest that you get him back down here as soon as you put. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do it. So he's gonna be your partner for the day. This is it, right? Last stop. Last stop. Hey, I've been counting, yo. No more pickups after. That should be the last stop. I mean, he said that he wanted. He wanted to be done before dark, but it's already dark, so if that's not the last stop, it should be. Oh. Um, the one time you're not standing guard outside like you usually do, and a car pulls up? Um. Broski. Now you see him? <laughs> Period. Hit them bitches with your car. I mean, what else are you supposed to do? You don't- he didn't give you a gun. You're trying to help him out.
see, so he can't be mad at Jesse because he sees that someone's chasing him, you know? But it's like, what is Mike supposed to do now? <laughs> Plus, he has all the money in the car. I'll meet you in the parking lot. Cancel that. Jesse came back. With a, with a shotgun. All right, they like blocked the alley and they're gonna rip us off, man. I didn't have a choice, okay? I had to put in reverse, slam into the guy's car. He's gonna understand, Jesse. Calm down. Go ahead, kid. Smoke up. <laughs> He's like, you need it. Milk? Sugar? Just black? Black? I like it. Is that how he takes his coffee? Are they like twinning on how they like their coffee? It's cool to be back home. It just feels... Uh... Mom said you're moving back in on this Tuesday. So she set a date, and I don't even think he fully agreed to it, so. Jesse! Jesse! He's back! I was out with Mike helping make pickups. Picking up what? Cash that drops. Mike made the pickups and. I guarded him. <laughs> Get in gear, yo, if you want to do this, because I'm meeting up with Mike this afternoon. What, again? Why? Guess I have two jobs now. Oh, it kind of seems like you and Mike are becoming friends, but I guess... I guess it is kind of your job now. It all went like you thought it would, more or less. I will, of course, reimburse you for the damage to your vehicles. That was planned? You kidding me, bro? Anyway, just like you wanted, my kid's a hero. They thought that maybe that would help him, like, feel better about himself and get him to stop acting the way he has been? Mascot? Mike's a Gerber baby. I would get my car washed there every day if I saw her face out front. What about me? No, no, no. The goal is to bring customers in, not scare them all. <laughs> Came together on this. I'm really happy that it's, it's working out. He really don't want to be there. Huh. Who was he? He was a meth cook. Uh, he was a meth chef. <laughs> I mean, we're talking five stars, candles. Now I'm kind of curious if Skyler's going to question if Walt knew him. Who knows? Hank, not to tell you your business, but I'm not sure I agree. What do you mean? Well, what are you doing, Walter? Just stop pages so to my eye all this brilliance looks like nothing more than just simple rote copying so you're going to convince him that heisenberg is still alive and then he's going to want back on the case maybe you're kind of not helping your case genius of yours maybe he's still out there and you see you did that to yourself because hank was going to stop and maybe he's going to start up again. Hank! Oh, hey, babe. <laughs> You're telling me I'm right? I, he brought over some file boxes on that case. Thought I'd take another peek. Oh, my God. Walt, look what you did. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Look at Hank being nicer. Yeah. 
You know, everything he, he, he buys and eats is uh, organic, fair trade, vegan. Since when do vegans eat fried chicken? They kind of messed up. Oh my God, no. Wait. So, Gus can, I mean not Gus, Hank can possibly start looking into Gus's business. How did he not put that together at first? And it's like, if you think about it, this is all Walt's fault. Because if Walt didn't drink too much wine and then say that about like him like possibly not catching Heisenberg or whatever, then Hank wouldn't have looked again at the freaking case and see that Gus's business is kind of like is connected to fucking Gail. Oh my god. Sometimes I hate Walter. Mmm, like he couldn't just leave it alone. Look what he did. He is just not... <laughs> At first, he got him to get away from the case and think that, like, you know, he, he caught him. And look at Hank now. Hank is back on the case. He's definitely gonna catch them. And I feel like it's still just all gonna be Walter's fault. Maybe for, like, because of his pride? Like, just hearing that they called him a genius pissed him off. Like, mmm, I just hate it. But what's it called? I, let's see. I didn't expect that whole thing with, like, Jesse and Mike to be, like, staged. The driving around part... I don't care, but at the last stop, whenever Jesse had to, like, you know, get away from the dudes, it's like, what do you, it's like, I get why they did it, but also I kind of feel bad, but it's like, I wonder if it's actually going to get him to stop, like, doing what he was doing and get him back on track. Like, it already seems like it kind of did, but you never know. Maybe he could find out in a way. I don't know how he'd find out, but it's always something. I swear. I'm just, I'm just wondering if they're going to get caught by the end of the season. Because we have one more season after this and what's it called? I think we're, we're not even halfway through the season. So what am I talking about? But anyways, yeah, they could possibly get caught by the end of the season and I just want to see how that would be but I could be wrong because we still do have like a whole nother season after this so it's like what can that be about them in jail what if like the very last episode ever is them getting caught and going to jail I don't know would that make sense for the whole plot mm. but I'm ready to see what's going to happen with that whole thing. So I guess come back for episode six.